you know, some of the photographs that I'm taking out in Midway are going to be kind of hard to believe because there's so much plastic in the bodies of these albatross. And uh, I think it's going to be easy to wonder if they've been manipulated, if I cheated by adding extra plastic. And it's something I actually thought of before I even came here when I saw photographs from Midway, the snapshots that we've all seen on the, on the internet. And I just, I couldn't help but wonder if the person who took one of those photographs might not have added a little plastic just to make a point. And so when I very first came here, I developed an ethic with my teammates and we all agreed that every single photograph that we took would follow certain rules about manipulation. And here are the rules we're following. First of all, there's no plastic that's been added to any photograph. Even though there's frequently tons of plastic around that would be really easy to pick up and bring into a picture, we've not added a single piece of plastic to any one of the photographs we've taken. And the other thing that we do is that, is that we don't arrange the plastic in the photographs at all. There's no moving around of plastic. Um, so what you see in terms of the plastic in the pictures is exactly what was there. What we do allow ourselves to do is to remove things. And so sometimes we'll pull away some feathers. Uh, I might pull away the breastbone of the, of the albatross to expose its body cavity. And I might uh, pull away some plants because sometimes grass grows right up through. There might be a branch that's right over the top of the whole scene. So I remove some of those things. But otherwise, the photographs that you see are, I, I'm, what I'm trying to do is to use the use photography in its traditional way of actually showing what was there. So these, in that sense, the subjects of the photographs, which is the plastic and the albatross, are not manipulated in any way.